kind of like gulp. We haven't even started. We haven't even started, guys. Please have faith in me. You guys don't love me. Problems. Wow. I can't believe this. Okay. Look, guys, it's stuff you know. Let's start with the red graph. I want to show you that it's stuff you know. Whatever I'm going to ask you is stuff that we have personally talked about. So I know you know them. So you, I like, I know. Okay. So let me do this. I'm going to draw a point over here and call it A. In the meantime, I want you guys to tell me what are the coordinates of A. That will be B. And then for the purple one, the two purple ones, I guess I'll use blue for this one and black for this one. A, B, this is C. And the last one at the bottom is D. Okay, what are the coordinates of A? We have done coordinates. So let's see if we remember how to find coordinates. A, chief is coming too. And Abukan and Tabang. Hey, see, guys, I don't ask anything you don't know. A is zero and one. Beautiful. B, thank you very much, Abukan, for that one already told us that it's zero and negative one. C, zero and negative three. And D, what's D? Jason has told us that it's zero and negative four. What do all these points have in common? Let's look at the coordinates over here. What's going on with the coordinates? What do these coordinates all have in common, guys? Let's look at the coordinates for A, B, C, and D that we have just written, written here. Alyssa said zero. There we go. Our X coordinate is zero. That's what the coordinates have in common. But let's look at the graph. What do they have in common on the graphs? Look at the graphs. Look at where those coordinates are. What's so special about those specific coordinates? What's so special about those specific coordinates? They are on the Y axis. Tabang is after my own. They are on the y axis, okay? This is the y axis, that's the x. So all of these points are on the y axis. So is it fair to say, if a point is on the y axis, then the x, inter the x coordinate, the x coordinate will be zero. So let's see, let's write that down. If the point, is on the y axis, then the x coordinate is zero. We have just proven it. Can you see that? All of the x coordinates are zero. These points are all on the y axis. Now let's do it the other way around. Let's do it the other way around. I'm gonna write a bunch of new points now. Where did we end D? Now I need the coordinates for E. F. G. H. And I. So E, F, G, H, I. Okay, we have, a, I'm gonna write them on the left this time because our space is like, our space is like, whoop. Okay, now there is space. Let me just move this. Here we go. Let's see what we're all saying. E, start with E. So E is,
Let's check our coordinates. Ogushe. Yes, Ogushe. Is Ogushe up to speak to me today? Ogushe. Ogushe. Unmute, please. Oh, Ogushe can't unmute. What about Komoto? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Now there's two of us. To, oh, it's just you. Um, ma'am. Hmm? Ma'am, it's negative five. Negative five. Mm hmm And zero. I'm guessing that's what you were going to say. Okay, if... What's if? If is over there. On the Ma'am, yes. if, if is negative two, um, is two, two. zero. zero. And then G is negative one is to zero. One is to zero. H? H is one is to zero. Mm. And I? And I is three is to zero. Thank you. Wait, nope, never mind. It's not three. Look carefully. Oh, two. Two is to zero. Yeah. You almost had me there for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Komoto. That was beautiful. Okay, guys, you see, I don't ask you anything you guys don't know. Like, you all panicked for nothing. Okay? I will explain this just now. I saw your message. Don't worry. Now, what do these new coordinates have in common? E, F, G, H, and I. E, F, G, H, and I have what in common? It's on the y axis. So the x co, the y coordinate, excuse me, it's on the x axis. So the y coordinate is zero. See, zero, 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 zero. So is it fair, guys, for me to say then, if, let me move this so we can have a bit of space to write. If the point is on the x-axis, then the y-coordinate will be zero. Is zero. Do we get this, guys? Let me go over it again, okay? Let me go over it again. So if you look at A, B, C, and D, right? Those are going up, down, right? It's on the y-axis, it's the vertical one, right? All those coordinates are on the axis, like they're sitting on the axis, right? Look at A, it's on the y-axis, okay? Let me highlight the axis so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is the axis. So all of those points touch the yellow. They are on the y-axis, right? If that is the case, then the x-coordinate is always zero. We have proven it, guys. Look here. Zero, one. Zero, negative one. Zero, negative three. Zero, negative four, right? And then you look at the other ones. Let's look at the other points that we spoke about. Those ones are on the x axis right they are on that blue line then your y coordinate it's the other way around then your y coordinate is zero so if they are on the x then y is zero if they are on the y then x is zero okay do we understand what i'm saying guys let me check in thumbs up thumbs down if you don't understand raise your hand let's talk about it before we move on it's very important that we understand this Okay, Natasha. Yes, Natasha. Um, ma'am, I'm just a bit confused at the point where you see that um, if the coordinate, I mean, if the point is on the y-axis, right, the coordinate is supposed to be zero. I'm not sure if I can understand. 
the x coordinates. Remember, how do we write coordinates? We write your x semicolon and your y. Do you remember that? Oh, Natasha's gone. Natasha? I'm sorry, miss. I unmuted myself now. Sorry. It's okay. But let's talk about coordinates. When we write coordinates, we write your x first and then semicolon and the y, right? Yes, ma'am. So what I'm saying is, if your point is on the y-axis, the y-axis is the vertical one, you get it, right? So if the yes, point is sitting on that axis, then your x-coordinate will be zero. That means this part over here will be zero. Look at the points we wrote down. Aren't those all zero? Do you see that? Yeah, they are. You see what I mean now? So I'm just summarizing what we wrote up here. So if the points touch the Y, then this first coordinate over here that represents your X will be zero. Okay, Miss, I think I can, I can understand that better. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Fatima, I saw Fatima say thumbs down. Hi, ma'am. Hello, Fatima. How are you, ma'am? I'm good, and you? I'm fine, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't understand where does the X is coming point with the lines. Like, I don't understand the whole thing, ma'am. Okay, Fatima, we're trying to look at the points that are sitting on the axis, right? Yes. So we found the coordinates of those points. Let's look yes. at A. A is over here. We said A is 0, 1. Those are the coordinates. Uh, you yes. So what I'm saying to you is, look at all the points that have a 0 in front. They are all sitting on the yellow line. You see this yellow line that I drew? Yes, the y axis. Yes, so they're all on the y-axis. So what I'm saying is, if any point, any point that I draw, if I draw a point on the y-axis, the x-coordinate will always be zero. Do you see that? We just proved it here. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yes, ma'am. And then the so other then... way around. If it's on the x-axis, then your It will be on the y-axis. Do you see the y is zero? Yes. That's what so, I mean. Do you paint, do you plot them like random? No. I'm going to talk about that just now. I'm going to talk about what I was doing with these points just now. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye. So, guys, Fatima has led me to the next part of this lesson. All these points are called intercepts because they cut the axis so here are my definitions okay the x intercept is the point where your graph cuts the x axis so that means in the points that i just wrote down now e is an x x is an x intercept f is an x intercept g h and i is an x intercept okay those are the points that cut. Like if I ask you, what is the x-intercept for this graph? I'm asking you, where does this graph touch my x-axis? Okay, so here's my formal definition at the bottom here. So x-intercept is the point that cuts the x-axis. And then that means your y-intercept is the point where your graph cuts the y-axis. So A and B and C and D will therefore be y-intercepts because they cut your y-axis. Are we understanding what I'm saying? Intercepts. <laughs> insects, it's not insects, Abukan. Intercepts. Okay. So we have just proven now by the working out that we have done that with your x-intercept, your y will always be zero. Let's remind ourselves that we've proven that, right? With our x-intercepts, here are our x-intercepts, all the points that cut the x-axis, our y was always zero. So we've proven it. You see that? And with your 
y intercepts your x is always zero. Look there. Y intercepts A, B, C, D, X is zero. Do we understand, guys? Here's my checkpoint. So this is the point of this whole lesson today. X intercepts means, where does your graph cut the X axis? Y intercept means, where does my graph cut the Y axis? Okay, thumbs up, thumbs down. Are we with me up until that point? Up until that point, are we with me? Okay, I see the thumbs up. Now we've learned how to find them. And now let's practice. Let us practice. Okay, graph number one. Graph number one. For this graph, I'm gonna make it easy for us and I'm gonna draw the dots about where our X and Y intercept are. That would be a y intercept, that would be your x intercept. Ooh, of course, I'm gonna hide the number. That was not the point. Let's use a pen instead. X intercept, y intercept. Now, I have to, I want you guys to tell me what my x intercept is. So I'm gonna abbreviate it and just say x intercept. And my y intercept remember i'm looking for a coordinate so you can't just say five or 60 or 10. okay siam tanda let's see if siam tanda has a question or has an answer for me siam tanda and let's let's do the coordinate pardon i'd like to do the coordinates the coordinates yes ma'am okay so, um so for the so for the y for the y intercept, it's it's going to be zero zero one zero one zero 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 Beautifully done. Okay, we're getting it. I feel like we're slowly getting this, All right? X intercept, Y is zero. Y intercept, X is zero. If you want to remember this, you can write this. They have to be opposites. They can't be the same thing. And for this one, X is zero. You see, guys, are we getting it? Chief, let's hear what Chief has to say. Hi, ma'am. Hello. No, ma'am, I, want, I wanted to answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to scroll down, and then if you want to answer, you can raise your hand again, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yo. Thank you, ma'am. Let's see. I'm going to scroll down. It feels like we're starting to get this. Okay, before anyone freaks out, yes, this graph has two x-intercepts. That is possible. Okay, this graph has two x-intercepts because it graphs, it cuts the graph twice, quite simply, okay? So now I'm not gonna draw any dots for you guys. You guys need to learn how to identify them. So I'm gonna write x-int and y-intercept. Let's see, who wants to talk to me? Abu Khan says we have discovered insects. Guys, hard to bend, hard to bend. Sine Sile? So, ma'am, the x-intercept would be um, zero and positive two. Is a zero first? Remember, x-intercept? Oh, two, um, two and positive um, two and um, zero. Here we go. Okay. And then the second one would be um, negative two to mm -hmm. zero. Beautiful. You want to do the Y one for me? Yes, ma'am. It's here. And then the Y one would be zero and four. Beautiful. That was beautiful, Sinesile. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. 
How can you read the graph, says Lerato. Lerato, let's remind us how we read coordinates, okay? So when we're reading coordinates, it's like you're walking. Okay, always start at zero. We're starting at zero. Let me put a coordinate over here. Okay, so let's say I say to you, how do I get to this point? And I'm going to call it B for some reason. No idea why I'm going to call it B, but I'm calling it B. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, how do I get there? How would you direct me to get there? Right? Every time you say walk left, that would be a negative. And walking right is a positive. Okay, walking up is a positive and walking down is a negative. But you don't have to remember that because you can see it. Look at here. Everything that's on the left is negative right? Everything that's on the right is positive. Everything going up is positive. Everything going down is negative. So if I ask you, how am I going to get to B? First, you're going to say, we always start with the horizontal, left and right. First, you say to me, you're going to first walk four, whatever, spaces to the left, right? Because it's one, two, three, four. To the left means negative, I'm walking four spaces. Then you're going to say, once you get there, you're going to walk up one, two spaces. Remember, up is positive. We don't have to write the plus. You just write two spaces. That's also another trick for anyone who's still struggling to find coordinates. Okay? Anyone who's still struggling to find coordinates? That's how you do it. All right, if you have your own way and you already understand coordinates, then don't mind this. But if you still struggle, think about directing a person where to go. Okay, so let's look at our intercepts. Tabang says, no, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure what I asked. Okay, let's talk about our intercepts. So let's say I want this one over here. That was horrific. Let's say I want this one over here right, which is where the graph cuts the x-axis. So if I say to you, how do I get there? You're going to say to me, you walk two spaces to the left, negative two. And then you're there. You don't have to walk up or down. You're already there. So you're going to walk zero spaces. So that's why you have a zero. Do you understand? Who asked the questions? I forgot. Lerato, do you understand how we read a graph? The lines are there for accuracy, OK? so that you can see that this point is on negative two exactly, or on one exactly. Maybe next time I'll take away the smaller ones, okay? I hope you understand that. If not, we did talk about coordinates and plotting coordinates, okay? There we go. I'm glad we understand. Let's do more intercepts. This is too easy. Let's do this one. What are my x and y intercepts for this one? Insects. Guys, this is terrible. I'm going to go back to school tomorrow speaking of insects, and my learners are going to be like, ma'am, are you okay? And I'll be like, no. I ate up for breakfast. I'm kidding. Let's see. Chief? Oh, wait. Tabang? Hi, uh, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm well, and you? I'm good. So for the y-intercept, right? Oh, sorry, for the x-intercept, um, it's going to be 1 and 0. 1 and 0. Beautiful. Do you want to do that y with me? Yes. OK, let's do uh, y. It's going to be negative 1 and 0. In which order? Do I write the negative one first or the zero first? The one, negative one first. Are you sure? Remember, y-intercept, x is zero. Do you remember? So Hello. zero, zero first. So it's gonna be zero. And then negative one. Do you understand why, Tabang? Ma'am, can you, you please understand why me? the x first? Can you please remind me? Okay, let's remind you. Remember, this coordinate is on the y-axis. That means y is negative 
one. Do you see that? So if you write negative one, zero, how do we write coordinates? We usually write X first and then Y. So if you write negative one, zero, you're telling me the other way around. You're telling me the X is negative one. Do you see that? So you have to write them in the correct order. Okay, guys? So your Y is negative one. That's why it's over there. And your X is zero. Beautiful. Let's do a brain break quickly. You're welcome. We've said this already. Every point on the X axis. So if it's on the X axis, the Y coordinate is zero. If it's on the Y axis, the X coordinate is zero. They're just opposites. Okay, guys. There we go. Now let's do our brain break. First question, would you rather find a rat in your kitchen or a cockroach in your bed? Hmm, is always ready. Karel. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I see you. Oh, hey. ma'am, I would rather find a cockroach in my bed. Oh, how are you going to sleep after that? I wouldn't sleep oh, after that. Man. Imagine a tiny thing running everywhere. Imagine a cockroach in your bed. I would shake the sheets the whole night. I would do this the whole night because of parents. Rats are worse. Rats are worse. Oh, at least it's in the kitchen. It's fine. It's not in my room. Yes. I would say it's Abu says you're gonna be the red up hit. I can't believe it. Guys. guys. Narisha, let's look at your question. Would you rather become an adult overnight or stay a teen forever? Oh, um forever. Like if you choose to stay a teen, it's gonna be forever. So you're gonna have chores forever no ma'am i would become an adult <laughs> you guys as soon as i said chores Mary, she's like uh -uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. i'm not doing that okay Mary, that's fine you can be an adult if we do have a lot of stress guys <laughs> don't become adults guys he said trip it's the trip crazy Crazy. Yeah, ma'am. What do you think, Crazy? Would you rather become an adult overnight or stay a teenager forever? Ma'am, adult overnight. Crazy. What are you in a rush for? No, ma'am. You see, being a teen is like, I feel like I'm used to it. Like, it's better I'm if stressed. I become an adult. Yeah, I don't have to depend on anyone. You have to depend on yourself. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, when you're a teenager, you even if you finish all the food, you're like, I someone's gonna replace it. It's not gonna be me. Yeah, it's fine. If I finish the food, I'm responsible. No, you don't know. So I can buy my own food. I can even eat takeaway for the whole week. Change. <laughs> Change, Quizzy. I see you. Quizzy's traumatizing me. We have freedom. Yeah, you also have responsibility. Hmm. Let's see what Sanele is going to say. Would you rather be a detective or a pilot, Sanele? Hi, ma'am. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Good in you? I'm good. Um, ma'am, I'd rather be a detective. You're gonna go investigate dead bodies, Sonel. It's like, yo, like it seems interesting. Like <laughs> I don't know. Today, today they were handing out like our papers and then um for maths thingy, and then they were like the only few that got like above 17. Eh? So it was me and my friends, and then we were trying to find the other ones. So oh, busy so like, like numbers. Yeah. Just say so you like numbers, Sonel. Why are you go like this? <laughs> You must just say the way it is. You want people's dabas. Gossip. <laughs> you can get home and be like, hey, hey, 
<laughs> Let me tell you. Yes, I never want dangerous. I can't believe it. No, I'm not like that, though. I don't know people stop us, guys. Be careful, I'm sorry. Next week, I'm going to check in on you and see what the new <laughs> scoop is. Wow. Guys, Sanel is dangerous. Be careful. Chloe, ah, uh, Chloe just vanished. Chloe was here two seconds ago and then poof, gone. There we go. Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hello, ma'am. Let's see your question, Chloe. Would you rather have skin that changes according to your mood or a tattoo that appears every time you lie? Like a new tattoo every time you lie. Um... uh a tattoo every time you like go you're gonna be covered but name if i have like skin that changes color then people are gonna be know like when i'm mad at them and then how am i supposed to like plan my revenge you know you know how quickly you can get a tattoo guys you'll be like i'm 10 minutes <laughs> away. Ah, oh next another tattoo <laughs> you're like, are you ready yeah i'm almost ready that time you haven't showered Boom, another tattoo oh, guys you know how easy it is to get a hair <laughs> when your mama do your homework no ha hey. no ma'am okay but it's better no this is like i like too much oh my goodness guys <laughs> where can i find you guys please pretend pretend to send i can't believe this Oh my goodness, but it's better than color changing though. Like imagine today I had like a green sweater on. Imagine I turn pink. Like guys, there are hectic colors out there. Yee. 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 Imagine is a tattoo forever. Yes, Tabang is forever and ever. You will run out of space for tattoos because you're lying. Imagine. Okay. Now let's stretch. We're gonna go into the second part of our lesson. Okay, I need that stretch more than anyone. Ouch. Yes, so if you're yellow, boom, yellow. When you hip, ah. You get jealous, purple, boom, out of nowhere. Imagine, that's too much, guys. Oof, that's too much. It's too much for me. Okay, let's go. So, we have spoken about x intercepts and y intercepts using graphs. So now let's say I give you an equation. Okay. I give you an equation and I say to you, let us find. <laughs> I love brain breaks, guys. Your brains kill me. Like the stuff you think. Insects. Insects. Okay, so now let's talk about. <laughs> I'm done with you guys. Okay, let's get back to the lesson, guys. Okay, so now we're talking about finding the x and y intercept using an equation. Now, guys, we said if you are finding the y intercept, right? then your x is always zero. So you can use that to your advantage, okay? Let me show you how. So we have an equation here. They've given us an equation. Okay, let me write it a bit better. Y equals two x minus four. Let's get back to the lesson, guys. Okay, so now if your x is zero, that means wherever you see an x, which is over there, substituted with zero so let's do that okay let's do that so then it will be y is equal to two times zero minus four how much is y guys how much is y? i'm gonna block the chat if we all don't come back to the lesson y is thank you whitney so then y will be equal to negative four but I want coordinates of my y-intercept, okay? I want coordinates. So therefore, I already told you x is zero. 
and then your y that you just worked out is negative four and that will be your y intercept it is as easy as that now i'm going to explain again in case we were all distracted because it sounds like we were okay let me erase over here okay so we said when you want the y intercept your x has to be zero so that means you take the equation that you were given. In this case, we were given y is equal to 2x minus 4, and you substitute 0 wherever you see an x. You just said x is 0, so you put a 0 there. Then you work out y. So if you do this whole calculation, you'll eventually get y is equal to negative 4. But we want coordinates. So they are coordinates because x is 0. We were told that. Okay, there it is. And we just worked out that y is equal to negative four. And that it is, yes, that's exactly how it is, Abu. And then with your x-intercept, we said the y is zero. So now wherever you see a y, you're gonna put a zero. So it's gonna be zero is equal to two x minus four. How do I solve this? We want the value of x. We've done this before. Do you see why we started with algebra? It's for this very reason over here. How do I solve for x? Yes, Tammy. Hello? Hello? Uh, okay, mom. so we're going to put the so we're going to have to put like things together. So we're going to put four values of four. So the left hand side is going to be zero plus the right is four. So the four is the x. And then we're going to divide both sides by two. So x is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two. So what are my coordinates? And the coordinates are open by x. Beautiful, beautifully done. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so Tammy has explained to us so nicely how we get the x intercept. So we made our y zero, you transpose the four to the other side, it was positive, I mean, it was negative, excuse me, so it becomes positive. You're going to end up with 4 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2 on both sides to get rid of it. Final answer is x equals 2. But I want coordinates. Now, if x is equal to 2, then put a 2 by x. And then I just explained, Avril, where did I lose you? We basically solved for x. So you, these two will cancel each other out. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Okay. Okay, let me check if we understand how to find an x and y intercept using a equation. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Finding the x and y intercept using an equation. So there are two ways we can find it using a graph or using an equation. Okay, I see thumbs up. Anyone with thumbs down before we continue? No, Sisa? Question. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Um, Miss, I wanted to inform you that I understand um, what you just taught us, but like, I just feel like I need to practice more. Cause yes. Get... Let's do that. Now, let me first take Quezzy's question. Quezzy, raise your hand. I see a thumbs down. Raise your hand and let's talk about where I lost you. And then no, Cesar, I'm gonna give you more to practice just now, okay? Yes. There we go. Okay, Quezzy. Um, Ma'am, can you just please re-explain? Which part? All of it. Um, the first part, the y-intercept. Okay, so remember, Quezzy, for your y-intercept, x is zero. Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. So wherever you see an x in your formula, you're going to put a zero. Oh, okay. That's going to be 2, 
zero is three x minus four, but two x means two times x. So this is means mm -hmm. two times zero. What's two times zero? The zero. Zero minus four. Now how much is zero minus four? It's negative four. Do you see how we got it? Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Okay, I feel like we're doing well. Now let's find a few. Of course, I wasn't gonna give you easy ones. <laughs> you guys should know me right now. Okay, so I wanna do a. Okay, no, I would have skipped it. A B C D and E. So I want us to do A C and E. So we're doing number A, number C, and number E. On your own right now, if you have an answer, please let me know. And there's a dog that is traumatized outside. I hope you guys can't hear that because I don't know what's going on. Natasha? Um, miss, sorry to interrupt. Um, I'd like to know if in these equations, are we using the, if um, the inter intercept, oh my gosh, insect, intercept, um, are we still using um, y equals to zero and x equals to whatever number they've given us above? No, you're going to make x zero and then you're going to make y zero. Oh, Jason, I'll switch intercept, both of them, please. Please make... Okay. Please find out the x and y intercepts for a, b, and c, for a, c, and e. Excuse me, for a, c, and e. Chief. Hi, ma'am. I think I have the answer, ma'am. For a. a. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go for it. So, ma'am, I took. In brackets, ma'am, I replaced the X with a zero, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And then negative three times zero is, is zero. So I wrote Y equals to negative one. Mm -hmm. And therefore I got negative one and zero. The Y is negative one. So which coordinate is negative one? The one. one. You see that? Yes, ma'am. There we go. Thank you. Did you do the X? What was this, the Y intercept? Did you do the X intercept? Uh, not yet, ma'am. Okay, that's fine. Fatima, let's hear what your troubles are. I see a thumbs down. There we go, yes, 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 Fatima. Ma'am, so my problems are, is it one is it one whole method or two? There are two methods. Remember there are two intercepts, Fatima. There's the x-intercept, that's where you make y zero, and then there's a y-intercept, that's where you make x zero, you see? I don't see, ma'am. I don't understand. Okay, look here. Here we were looking for the y-intercept, right? Yes. So we made x zero. So there, where there was an x there, we put a zero. Yes. And then we worked it out. So negative three times zero is just zero. Do you agree? Yes. What's zero minus one? One. Negative one, but one. one. Okay. So we just said that our x is zero. So your x is zero and your y is negative one. You just worked it out. Oh. And when you can, when you x, I mean y intercept. That was the y. So when we do the x, oh, why am I using a marker? Let me show you how we do the x intercept. 
So okay. when we do that, x intercept, this time we make which one zero, the x or the y? The y. The y. So instead of saying y equals blah, 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 you're going to say zero equals negative three x minus one. And then your one is going to go over your negative one and it's going to become what? Uh, it's going to be trans. It's going to be three uh, minus one. If I take the negative one over, it's going to become? Oh, positive, yes. Here we go. So it's going to be one is equal to negative three X. Now, how do I get rid of this negative three? Uh, you divide. There we go. We divide by negative three on both sides, right? Yes. These are going to cancel out. So then your X is going to be negative one over three. Now let's write it as coordinates. We just said X is negative one over three and your Y is zero. Do you see? Yes, but what if it's like, oh, it's not like this on the Cartesian plane. You don't find fractions. They use decimals. Then you press the SD button. This uh -huh. one. Press it. Yes. Did anything happen? I'm still pressing, ma'am. So with your negative one of, so it, did it give you 0, 0,3333? Oh. Yes. Infinite. Yes, ma'am. Did it work? Yes. Beautiful. See? I see, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Natasha is lost in the world. Makes me think of Frozen. How hello? Natasha, raise your hand. Let's talk about it. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I forgot to take my hand down. I was going to ask the same question she did. Okay. All right. Let's hear what Natasha has to ask. Natasha? Natasha? Um, sorry, miss. I'm just having a bit of a problem with network. So I missed it when you were talking about the fraction part. Oh, you mean if you get 0, 0,3333? No, like the entire thing, because when you were talking, it was breaking badly. We just solved for x. So we just put a 0 where the y is. And then you transpose the negative one. So if it was negative, it becomes a positive one. And then to get rid of this negative three in front, you divide by negative three on both sides. So your final answer will be therefore X is equal to negative one over three. Oh, okay. So we're not at B yet. Cause I thought that maybe something was happening. No. Nope. Okay. Thank you. We're still on A. Okay, guys, we are probably, we are out of time, actually. So let me do, I saw someone say C is confusing them. I know it is because it's not in standard form. You follow the same rules, okay? So if you want the X intercept, you make your Y zero. So wherever you see a Y, so it's going to be 16, zero, plus three equals four X plus 16. 16 times 0 is 0 plus 3. That'll give you 4x plus 16. 0 plus 3 is 3 equals 4x plus 16. Now we group like terms as who likes saying that? Tammy likes saying that's so nasty for us. So we are going to transpose the 16. When it goes over, it becomes negative. Negative 16 equals 4x. 3 minus 16 is negative 13 equals 4x. You're going to divide both sides by 4. Therefore, x is negative 13 over 4. If you use your calculator, it's going to give you some sort of decimal. Press the SD button. And this is my coordinate. Okay. Maybe we should start. Oh, Sadia already has. Sadia already has the other intercept. So let me do it quickly. You guys in the meantime can do the poll. Okay. So for the y-intercept, 
this time your x is zero. So you're gonna have 16. Jeez. Okay, the poll just popped up on my screen and I'm like, oh, I wasn't ready. Here we go. So you're gonna be 16 x plus three, no, 16 y, sorry, excuse me. y plus three is equal to four. And now you put the zero plus 16. That's gonna give you 16 y plus three equals 16. Transpose the three, you're gonna have 16 y is equal to 16 minus three. So 16 y is equal to 13 divide by 16 on both sides. Therefore, y is 13 over 16. And as a coordinate, that would be 0 and 13 over 16. Woo! OK, that was just for the people who did it and wanted to see the corrections. Good night, my beautiful people.